So I'm packing lunches for tomorrow and we keep meatless Fridays um, all year long as long as I am physically up for it. <laughs> Sometimes it's just easier to eat what's there. So I'm in my pantry. I'm gonna grab a few things and um, put them together for tomorrow's lunch. I figured I'd show you what we're gonna figure out. First thing I'm gonna do is hard boil some fresh eggs. So I've got some water in here and since they're fresh, I put about a, I don't know, tablespoon or so of baking soda in there because that makes them a lot easier to peel. So I'm gonna make sure that these are nice and clean. Most of them are pretty darn clean. Um, some of them have a little schmutz on them so I'll rinse them off. And um, I'll cook them at a boil for about five minutes with it covered, turn off the heat and wait for it to cool down some. And that's how I get mine to peel the best. Now I'm going to make some jello. I'm going to do it like this. And then it calls for a cup of freshly boiled water. So I just fill it about halfway, maybe a little more because I'm going to make it stretch. And then I'm going to stir it. Since a pint is two cups, I don't have to get out a measuring cup. Once it's stirred up really well and dissolved, I have these little guys. And what I'll do is I'll fill it halfway with the hot and then fill it the rest of the way with the cold and then just stir it up. All right, I'll make a uh, super fast tuna salad, just mayonnaise and tuna, because some of my kids, well, one does not enjoy eggs. So uh, shelf stable, I'll be putting in Six applesauce. This is for five kids and me. Um, boxes of raisins because they sent me boxes instead of a big container. Um, <laughs> a thing of crackers. Um, mixed nuts that I've put chocolate chips in. And some spoons. I'm going to need one more. Um, but those are the shelf stable things that will stay out. And then I'll show you the stuff that I'm going to be putting in the fridge here in just a second when I get my eggs done. So let's see if it did the trick. It doesn't always work, but usually works a little bit better than um, not doing it. Okay, I couldn't do it with one hand, but I got it started. As you can see, it was pretty good. All right, full disclosure, some peeled better than others, but these are literally from like yesterday, so... They're still pretty new. So I have this pickle brine and I had some leftover. I'm going to put it in there. And in the morning, these will be kind of like lightly pickled eggs. So for the fridge component, I've got pickled eggs, tuna salad, jello, and some garden veggies. Some from our garden, some from other people's gardens. So that'll go in the fridge. And then everyone brings their waters and that's our lunch. So I like to have... A variety of proteins. We had the nuts, we have eggs, and we have tuna. Um, variety of vegetables. We had the cucumbers, tomatoes, and they're actually yellow beans, but green beans. And um, I don't usually pack fresh fruit because it usually just gets ignored or forgotten. So there's raisins and apple sauce in there. And as far as carbs go, instead of loading up on them, um, we just had a little bit of crackers and the chocolate chips in with the nuts. So, yeah, that'll be our lunch tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, for our co-op.